Obviously, um, you know, these are hard decisions for these guys. And uh, when Clears met with us yesterday, he just said uh, he's worked so hard and his knees in such good shape that he trusts himself that he doesn't care. He's playing here and he's just going to earn a contract going ahead. And, you know, for me, I'm thrilled about that. Now, he makes our team better. And, uh, you know, obviously, it's going to be a tough uh, team to play on up front. We have a lot of depth up front. Where do you think you'll put him tomorrow? That's good. I, I was going to play him with and Z, but then Abby got two today. I don't know what I'm going to do. So I got all, all night to figure that out. Nice problem for you to have. Tons of forwards. Yeah, obviously we got good depth, and you know it's going to be competitive, and, and not so much this this part of camp is a walkthrough as far as making sure we know how to play and what to do, uh, and then get some tempo, but the eight-game exhibition schedule should be real competitive for our team. With Weiss and Alfredson, do you just give them some time before you even evaluate them together? Or yeah, I'm not even, I mean, obviously they haven't been here, and so we got to get them up to speed. Uh, you know, they got lit up today, They're, but I think their team's probably a little better than that, but it never hurts anybody. I just you brought some of the Kaler's first day here playing well, I mean, he's 26 years old. It's just about time you become a player in the league. It takes you that long. And, uh, you know, Abby skates way better than he used to. He's got huge confidence. Uh, I, I don't think probably being invited to Olympic camp probably didn't hurt him confidence wise. He's come here today, you shoot two in the net. You just start thinking that's your job. And so, uh, really good for him, but much better for us. Yeah, so much depth in you. And you said it a couple of times, but. Is there any excitement a little bit seeing Albertson on the ice now and knowing he's well, in your arsenal? Well, obviously, but I mean, in saying all that, you talk about depth. I mean, uh, we barely made the playoffs last year. You know, let's not kid ourselves. Let's not. Uh, we crawled into the playoffs, and uh, you're not going to line up the moon and stars every year. We got to be better than we were last year, and it took a long time for our young D to get to a level that we could play and win it every day, night in the league. And, and I expect us to have some growing pains this year as well. We think we're a better team, but we think uh, we need Kindle and DeKaiser and Smith to really continue to grow because we count on them. They're so important on our team. Mike, how much confidence does last year's run, though, in the last couple of weeks of the regular season and in the playoffs, how much confidence does that give your guys heading into this year? Well, I think it sure does. And saying all that, you have to reestablish your work ethic and the way you play each and every year, and that's what training camp's for. And if you think there's carryover, I'm not a big believer in that at all. Mike, what was stood out for you today in the scrimmage off the ice? Nothing. With, with Weiss, I mean, obviously he's coming off that, that injury too. It's been a yeah. while since he played in well, two even years. competitive. Yeah. Um, yeah. So is that something that it, it's hard to evaluate? You're just looking at him and just Well, I mean, it, if you looked at him and you look at Samuelson, they basically missed all last year. So anyway, you look at it, uh, you've missed a lot of hockey. And so it's going to take you some time. Uh, but we're comfortable with his ability and we're comfortable there's going to be some a good growth pattern. He's around good players that are really ultra competitive, and it's going to make him better. What's it say about a guy like Alfredson and his willingness to fit in? That he, here he was for 17 years. He wears number 11 uh, in Ottawa. Then he hears that Cleary's here, and he says, "You know what? I'm going to give it to to Cleary." Well, I didn't know any, you know, and I you're telling me that, and yeah. I don't know that, so. But that's what he told us. Yeah, I'm not judging any of that. Okay. Between Clears and him, they can figure that out. That's, <laughs> you know, uh, the way I look at it, it matters all about what's on the front, not what's on the back, and those guys both understand that. They're at the, you know, the winning time of their career, not the individual time of their career. They understand what's important, and, and I mean, they can work that out. Mike, will we see a difference, I mean, obviously compared to last year and the lockout and everything and everything being crammed in and, and guys uh, you know, playing every day early, does the, how much does the training camp benefit these guys coming into the season at the start? Well, I thought it really hurt us last year just because we had so many kids and we had no time. Our specialty teams were so bad last year at the start of the year. We ended up on 12th in the penalty kill and 15th on the power play, but we were red rotten at the start like it took us a long time to get going so I think uh, that's really going to help us and plus yeah, for new guys coming in you had new people in your lineup it's very important to have training camp so they can understand and get comfortable and feel good about themselves and so this is going to be a month of getting better as a club before we even start well three weeks I guess October 2nd. In terms of depth uh, 
you know, there's also the Grand Rapids Griffins that are coming up with all the cup win, and I know you were up here for a significant portion of the prospect tournament. Yeah. Can you talk about uh, those guys making a push as well, perhaps? Well, for sure, but I mean, the first thing that jumps out of my mind when you talk about what jumps out is, is those kids that look so good the other day, it's harder to see them today, isn't oh, yeah. it? So, you know, those kids that were yelling for passes in practice now are quiet. That's how hard the league is, and that's how hard it is to be confident. So, you know, there's a lot of growth for those kids. We understand there's real good push from the bottom and good from our kids. Uh, that's very important for our organization. We feel real comfortable with what's going on that way. But these big guys, now they got to get, you know, finally tuned and get ready to go here.